From the $4 billion Uganda oil refinery to the colossal Karuma hydropower project, Uganda is embarking on an unprecedented construction boom. The Kampala flyover, source of the Nile Bridge, and Malaba Kampala Railway are redefining transport. While the Akin University Hospital and Gulu International Airport elevate healthcare and aviation, these landmark initiatives, totaling over $10 billion, are reshaping Uganda's economic landscape, driving growth, and cementing its status as an emerging East African powerhouse. As the projects progress, Uganda's global standing continues to rise. At the forefront of Uganda's ambitious infrastructure development is the transformative Kampala Flyover Road Project. This landmark initiative, unfolding in the country's capital city, is set to redefine the urban landscape and drive economic progress. The Kampala Flyover Road Project is a comprehensive undertaking that aims to modernize the transportation network in the heart of Kampala. The centerpiece of this endeavor is the construction of flyovers at two strategic junctions, the Clock Tower and Kit Gum House. These elevated roadways will alleviate the chronic traffic congestion that has long plagued the city's central business district, improving the flow of vehicles and pedestrians. In addition to the flyover construction, the project also involves the widening of two key arterial roads, Ensambia Road and Maano Road. This expansion will increase the capacity of these vital thoroughfares, accommodating the growing demands of Kampala's bustling population and commercial activities. The project's scope extends beyond the flyovers and road widening, as it also encompasses the improvement of numerous interfacing roads and junctions. This holistic approach ensures that the transportation network functions as a cohesive system, enhancing connectivity and accessibility throughout the city. Covering an estimated distance of 3.5 kilometers, the Kampala Flyover Road Project is being executed in phases. The first phase, with a budget of 300 billion Ugandan shillings, approximately $82 million, was officially launched by President Yoweri Museveni in December 2018, marking a significant milestone in the country's infrastructure transformation. The strategic importance of this project cannot be overstated. By addressing the chronic traffic congestion in Kampala, the flyover and road improvements will have a profound impact on the city's economic productivity. Reduced travel times and improved accessibility will enable businesses to operate more efficiently, fostering a more vibrant and competitive commercial environment. Moreover, the Kampala Flyover Road Project aligns with Uganda's broader vision of enhancing regional integration and trade. As the capital city, Kampala serves as a vital hub for domestic and international commerce. The improved transportation infrastructure will facilitate the seamless movement of goods and people, strengthening Uganda's position as a regional economic powerhouse. Beyond the economic benefits, the project also holds the potential to enhance the quality of life for Kampala's residents. This, in turn, can contribute to improved public health, reduced environmental impact, and a heightened sense of community. As the Kampala Flyover Road Project progresses, it serves as a testament to Uganda's unwavering commitment to transforming its infrastructure. As the construction of the source of the Nile Bridge, also known as the New Ginger Bridge. This cable-stayed bridge across the Victoria Nile in Uganda replaced the Nalubali Bridge, which was built in 1957. Completed and commissioned in October 2018, the new bridge cost an estimated $112 million, approximately 41 billion Ugandan shillings, and has a projected lifespan of 120 years. As Uganda forges ahead with its ambitious infrastructure development, one of the most transformative initiatives on the horizon is the Malaba Kampala Eastern Route Standard Gauge Railway SGR project. This multi-billion dollar endeavor represents a bold step towards enhancing the country's transportation network and cementing its position as a regional economic hub. The Malaba Kampala Eastern Route SGR project entails the construction of a 332 kilometer long railway line stretching from the Kenya-Uganda border town of Malaba to the capital city of Kampala. This state-of-the-art standard gauge railway system will revolutionize the way goods and passengers move across Uganda, offering a more efficient, reliable, and environmentally friendly alternative to the existing road network. The significance of this project cannot be overstated. 
By connecting Uganda's commercial and administrative center of Kampala with the key border crossing at Malaba, the SGR line will facilitate seamless regional integration and trade. Goods and services will be able to flow more seamlessly between Uganda and its neighbors, including Kenya, South Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, unlocking new economic opportunities and strengthening Uganda's position as a regional logistics and transportation hub. The project's impact extends beyond just international trade. Domestically, the Malaba Kampala Eastern Route SGR will transform the way Ugandans travel and transport goods within the country. The high-speed modern rail system will significantly reduce travel times and improve the reliability of transportation, thereby enhancing productivity, reducing costs, and improving the overall quality of life for Ugandan citizens. Recognizing the transformative potential of this project, the Ugandan government has moved swiftly to initiate its implementation. According to the Ministry of Works and Transportation, construction on the Malaba Kampala Eastern Route SGR is set to commence before the end of the current year. The project will be undertaken by a Turkish contractor, leveraging their expertise in railway infrastructure development. The scale and ambition of the Malaba Kampala Eastern Route SGR project are a testament to Uganda's unwavering commitment to modernizing its transportation network. By investing in this state-of-the-art railway system, the country is positioning itself to capitalize on the growing regional and global trade opportunities, while also enhancing the mobility and connectivity of its own citizens. As the project progresses, it will undoubtedly serve as a catalyst for economic growth, job creation, and social development throughout Uganda. The improved transportation links will facilitate the movement of people and goods, fostering a more vibrant and competitive business environment. Furthermore, the project's environmental benefits, such as reduced carbon emissions and increased energy efficiency, will contribute to Uganda's sustainable development goals. The Malaba Kampala Eastern Route SGR project is a shining example of Uganda's transformation into a regional infrastructure powerhouse. As Uganda continues its remarkable infrastructure development, the country is placing a renewed emphasis on strengthening its healthcare system. At the forefront of this endeavor is the construction of the Aachen University Hospital, a transformative tertiary referral and teaching facility located in the capital city of Kampala. Recognizing the critical importance of accessible and high-quality healthcare, the Ugandan government has embarked on this ambitious hospital project. The Aachen University Hospital will be built in two phases, with a planned construction timeline of five years starting from 2020. The first phase of the project will see the construction of a 150-bed facility with an estimated cost of $100 million. This initial phase will establish the hospital's core infrastructure and capabilities, laying the groundwork for the subsequent expansions. In the second phase of the project, the hospital's bed capacity will be significantly increased to 600 beds, making it a true tertiary care center capable of serving the growing healthcare needs of Kampala and the surrounding regions. The Aachen University Hospital is not just a bricks and mortar project. It is a strategic investment in Uganda's medical education and research. As a teaching hospital, it will play a vital role in training the next generation of healthcare professionals, equipping them with the knowledge and skills necessary to deliver world-class medical care. The hospital's impact has already begun to be felt as it opened its outpatient specialty center in April 2024. This state-of-the-art facility offers a wide range of specialized services, including pediatrics, general surgery, obstetrics and gynecology, neurology, urology, diagnostic radiology, gastrointestinal, and oncology. By providing these advanced outpatient services, the Aachen University Hospital is already making a tangible difference in the lives of Ugandan citizens, improving access to specialized health care and enhancing the overall quality of medical services in the country. By investing in this comprehensive tertiary care facility, the government is demonstrating its recognition of the critical role that healthcare plays in the country's overall development and well-being. The collaboration between the hospital, the university, and the broader healthcare ecosystem will foster the advancement of medical knowledge and the development of cutting-edge treatments and technologies. The Aachen University Hospital stands as a shining example of Uganda's dedication to building a robust, resilient, and accessible healthcare system. This transformative project, alongside the country's other infrastructure initiatives, 
is paving the way for a healthier and more prosperous future for all Ugandans. Located in the Gulu District, the Gulu International Airport, also known as the OIA International Airport, is set to become Uganda's second international airport. This strategic addition to the country's aviation infrastructure will have far-reaching implications, supporting the growth of Uganda's burgeoning petroleum industry, while also bolstering the development of the agricultural and tourism sectors in the western regions. In February 2018, the Ugandan government selected the Israeli firm Shum and Benoy to undertake the construction of the Gulu International Airport with a contract value of $39 million and a projected timeline of three years. This decision underscores the government's commitment to leveraging international expertise and partnerships to deliver world-class aviation facilities. However, the project's journey has not been without its challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic, coupled with rising construction costs and heavy rains, has resulted in some delays. Despite these hurdles, the Ugandan authorities have remained steadfast in their determination to complete the Gulu International Airport project. The latest projections indicate that the airport's construction is now expected to be finalized by February 2024, with commercial commissioning scheduled for August 2025. This revised timeline reflects the government's unwavering focus on delivering a state-of-the-art aviation facility that will serve the country's evolving needs. The Gulu International Airport project extends beyond just the construction of the airport itself. It also encompasses the creation of an estimated 1,000 jobs, with 30% of these opportunities reserved for the local communities. This commitment to inclusive development is a testament to the Ugandan government's dedication to ensuring that the benefits of this infrastructure project are felt by the people who need it the most. Once completed, the Gulu International Airport will play a pivotal role in transforming the aviation landscape of Uganda. As the country's second international airport, it will complement the existing facilities in Entebbe, providing an alternative gateway for international travelers and cargo. As the project progresses, the Gulu International Airport will become a symbol of Uganda's unwavering commitment to building a more connected, prosperous, and globally integrated nation. This transformative initiative will not only elevate the country's aviation capabilities, but also serve as a catalyst for economic growth and social development, benefiting the lives of Ugandans for generations to come. At the heart of Songo's endeavors is the upcoming AR Towers, a 16-floor skyscraper project in the prestigious Nakasero neighborhood. Set to become a true landmark in the city, this state-of-the-art development exemplifies Songo's ambitious vision and commitment to elevating Kampala's built environment. Beyond the AR Towers project, Songo has proven himself to be a versatile and innovative entrepreneur involved in a range of successful ventures across Kampala. His ability to identify and capitalize on emerging opportunities has solidified his reputation as a dynamic and forward-thinking business leader. Songo's entrepreneurial journey is particularly noteworthy given his relative youth. At just 36 years old, he has already carved out a prominent position for himself within Kampala's thriving commercial landscape. This remarkable feat underscores his acumen, drive, and unwavering determination to leave an indelible mark on the city's development. Turning to the energy sector, the Karuma Hydropower Project is a transformative initiative that will become the largest power-generating installation in Uganda. This 600-megawatt hydroelectric power project located on the Victoria Nile at the former site of Karuma Falls, is expected to open in September 2024. The project, with an estimated cost of $2.2 billion, including a $250 million budget for high-voltage transmission lines, is being funded by the Ugandan and Chinese governments, with an 85% loan from the Exim Bank of China. Expanding beyond the capital region, Uganda is developing the Mbale Industrial Park, located in Mbale City in the eastern part of the country, 220 kilometers from Kampala and 65 kilometers from the Kenyan border. This strategic location allows for the distribution of goods to countries in East Africa, North and South Africa, the Middle East, and West Asia. Further enhancing Uganda's aviation infrastructure, the country is constructing the Kepu International Airport, which will be the third international airport in the East African nation. This project, undertaken by the UAE's Sharjah Chamber of Commerce and Industry, 
aims to boost tourism by drawing visitors to Kapu National Park, known for its lions, giraffes, and buffaloes. The new airport, scheduled to begin construction in August, will provide direct access for international tourists, reducing the need to travel from Entebbe International Airport to the park. One of the most significant projects transforming Uganda's energy landscape is the Uganda Oil Refinery. In January 2024, the Ugandan Energy Minister, Ruth Nankabirwa, announced that the country is negotiating with Alpha Omega Investment, a firm led by members of Dubai's royal family, to develop a $4 billion refinery for its crude oil. This move follows the termination of talks in July last year with a consortium, including Baker Hughes, due to financing delays. The planned refinery, with a capacity of 60,000 barrels per day, is crucial for Uganda's emerging hydrocarbon industry. Following an evaluation of expressions of interest from potential investors, a memorandum of understanding was signed on December 2023, and negotiations on key commercial details began on January 16, 2024. Uganda anticipates starting crude oil production in 2025 from fields in the Albertine Rift Basin, operated by the Ugandan government, China's Sino Ak and France's Total Energies. These transformative projects in Uganda extend beyond the ones mentioned so far. Additional initiatives include the Kampala Jinja Expressway, the Namanve Industrial Park, the NDA Towers, the Busa MPG Road, the Insurance Towers, the Kampala Northern Bypass. The impact of these mega projects on Uganda's economy and development is undeniable. Each initiative not only drives economic growth, but also positions Uganda more prominently on the global stage. From infrastructural advancements to innovations in agriculture and energy, these projects represent a significant leap as the country progresses. The Kampala Flyover Road project, for instance, will ease traffic congestion in the capital, improving connectivity and reducing travel times. The source of the Nile Bridge and the Malaba Kampala Eastern Route Standard Gauge Railway will bolster regional integration and trade, strengthening Uganda's position as a hub in East Africa. Aachen University Hospital, with its state-of-the-art facilities and specialized services, will not only improve healthcare access for Ugandan citizens, but also attract medical tourism, generating additional revenue streams. The Gulu International Airport, and the KPUO International Airport, on the other hand, will open up new avenues for tourism, business, and economic diversification. The Karuma Hydropower Project, as the largest power-generating installation in Uganda, will significantly contribute to the country's energy security and drive industrial development. The Uganda Oil Refinery Project, valued at $4 billion, represents a crucial milestone in the country's emerging hydrocarbon industry. By developing the refining capacity, Uganda will be able to capture more value from its oil resources, reducing its reliance on imported refined products and potentially becoming a net exporter of petroleum products in the region. These mega-projects are not merely symbols of progress. They are the foundation for sustainable development in Uganda. From the construction of world-class transportation networks to the harnessing of the country's vast energy resources, Uganda is positioning itself as a key player in the East African region and beyond. Improved infrastructure, enhanced healthcare services, and expanded energy access will contribute to the overall well-being of the population. Furthermore, these projects are creating thousands of jobs, both during the construction phase and through the operation of the completed facilities. This employment generation has the potential to reduce poverty, boost household incomes, and stimulate the broader economy. Beyond the tangible economic and social benefits, these mega-projects also hold the promise of elevating Uganda's global standing. As the country successfully executes these ambitious initiatives, it will garner international recognition and attract further investment, positioning Uganda as an attractive destination for businesses, tourists, and global partnerships. The challenges, of course, are not without their complexities ensuring the efficient and transparent implementation of these projects, managing environmental and social impacts, and securing the necessary financing will require careful planning and execution. However, the Ugandan government's commitment to these transformative initiatives, as well as the involvement of international partners and private sector stakeholders, 
suggests a strong foundation for success. From the bustling capital of Kampala to the remote corners of the nation, these initiatives are laying the groundwork for a more prosperous, equitable, and globally connected Uganda. The future is indeed bright for this East African powerhouse as it embraces the promise of these transformative projects and the opportunities they represent. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.